Jose Torres has had five bouts this year and won them all. Three by KO. He throws a good punch and is hoping to gain his sixth victory of the year with an early knockout. But Torres' opponent, Gomi O'Brennan, has been doing some tough campaigning, having recently lost a 15-round decision to Tuna Scanlon, British middleweight king. A good victory over Torres would enhance Brennan's chances for another shot at the crown. So there's plenty at stake as Jose Torres meets Gomi O'Brennan on the Friday night fight of the week. This is the main event, middleweight division. From Ponce in Puerto Rico, weighing 167 pounds, wearing the black trunks with the white trim, Jose Torres. Torres. And his opponent from Bimini in the Bahamas, weighing 160 pounds, wearing a white trunk for the black trim, the former British Empire middleweight champion, Gomeo Brennan. Brennan. Uh, you boys were given your instructions this afternoon by a member of the Miami Beach Boxing Commission, and I'm here to see that those rules are carried out. I want one thing cleared up. I want a clean fight. Good luck to both of you. Good luck. Scoring here in Miami Beach, the 10 points must system, 10 points to the winner of the round, nine or less to a loser. The mandatory eight count is in effect. The three knockdown rule is also in effect, but the referee has some option on that. If a man is floored at or near the bell, he must arise before the count of 10 or be counted out. The bell will not sound until he gets up. Corey is the black trunks and Brennan and White. The boys signed for this fight at 165 pound contract. Torres came in quite heavy, 167 this morning. Brennan hit the middleweight limit right on the nose, 160. Now, whether the extra weight will be a help or a hindrance to Torres in this hot weather, is something we'll wait and see. Brennan has a jolting jab, a very good uppercut. Torres has that peekaboo style that Floyd Patterson made famous. See how he keeps the gloves up high? Torrey's ranked fourth in the middleweight division. Brennan has now gotten up to tenth and figures he can move if he wins this one. Those of you who saw Brennan fight McClure and Carter, although he lost, lost close bouts to both of them, remember that he has a sneaking right hand that can uh, fell an opponent or stagger him. Torrey's is very good at slipping punches, you'll notice. Brennan so far, a moth for those sharp jabs by Torres, and they are landing solidly. Brennan told me later he's going to go to the party. The only way he'll get the guard down, although uh, Torres also protects the body with his elbows. One minute to go in round one. Next week, the fight of the week will come from Cleveland. Brennan, seven pounds lighter, looks comparatively frail next to Torrey's. Ten seconds to go on round one. There is the bell. Romeo Brennan coming out on the white trunk, Jose Torres in black. 
Round two in the Miami Beach Convention Hall. Cy Gottfried is the referee. Cy, incidentally, was the first referee of a televised bout from Miami on April 15, 1953. Pierre Langlois and Joe Maselli. And Cy is the referee of one of the last ones in Miami Beach. Good boxer like Brennan. didn't know it, he knows it now. <laughs> Brennan's best punch of the fight so far. <laughs> Brennan wants to set a fast pace because he figures Tories might be overweight. No, we don't know. Tories may carry 167 very well. About 45 seconds remaining in round two. What is it they say? Nobody likes it down there? Torres protects his chin pretty well. Gomeo doesn't. Round two is over and we go back to the corner of Jose Torres, born in Puerto Rico, now living in New York City. At the age of 28, he's a real threat to the middleweight title. In the corner with him on the right-hand side is Lou Black. On the left-hand side, Mike Brozzi and Johnny Manzanet, his advisor, is in front of him scrubbing off the face as the boy walks around with the card for round three. On the other side of the ring, we have Gomeo Brennan, who was born in Bimini in the Bahamas and now lives in Miami. And in the corner with him, the popular trainer and handler, Angelo Dundee, who also handles Willie Pastrani, Pastrano. On the outside is Luis Saria on the right-hand side, the trainer of Gomeo Brennan and also of Luis Rodriguez. And George Rothseiden is on the left-hand side just going down. So we come up to round three in the very popular Miami Beach Convention Hall. And there's Brennan with the white trunk. Quick right hand by Brennan. Cy Godfrey is the referee. Torres is backing away, hoping possibly to get in one big right hand. Brennan is trying not to give him punching room. Now it's 
it's uh, turned a little bit. It's now Brennan's jabs that are finding the mark. Just see Torrey's thinking processes as he tries to unleash the right hand and then holds it back. 